Okay. We are now going to use UFS self-service on your browser again. Go to the plus and open a new tab. Go to the UFS website, www.ufs.ac.za. Once in the UFS website, you're going to go in students. You will go in students. And then we're going to do student self-service. Inside student self-service, you scroll down and open student password management. Student password management. Okay, when do we get to make use of this service? This is when you have forgotten your password, right? Then you come straight here and say forgotten password, but you would have to remember your the email address or the cell phone number that you gave the university. Because before you change your password, then they have to <clears throat> send you a unique code to verify that it's you. Now it's here. And then every three months, your password at the university is going to expire for security reasons. So as soon as you see your password not working around April, then just know that it has expired. You would have gotten a warning via your email anyways, right? Or sometimes you key in an incorrect password too many times and the system assumes that someone is trying to hack you and then it locks you out of UFS system. Are we clear? Then you would have to wait about a day or two to reset it or call ICT to confirm and verify that it's you and then they unlock you. Okay, so let's go over our keyboard. We are making use of Dell device. So the keyboard that's in front of you looks like this. All right. Okay, so sometimes you try to key in your student number. You try to key in your student number and no matter how hard you try, you're not getting in your numbers. Why would that happen? I'm going to try to put in numbers now. Okay, so I will try to type in one, two, three, and I'm not getting it. And then you can hear that even the keyboard is protesting. Okay. So it doesn't mean that the numbers are not working. On your keyboard, there is a key on top of number seven written num lock, right? So that's the key that you're going to make use of if your numbers are locked. You know that the numbers are locked if there's no light on this locker here. Okay, since I, I cannot get numbers on, on my keyboard, I have to go key in num lock. When you do that, you'll see on top of it, on the locker there, there will be a light. So that means then the numbers are activated and I can get numbers. How do we get our special characters? Now on the left-hand side, the second bottom key is written shift. So that is a key we're going to make use of for special characters as well as capital letters. Okay. I want to type capital letter K without having to switch on caps lock because I only need it once. So what I'm going to do now is shift, press shift and keep my finger on shift. Okay? You don't press it and leave it. <clears throat> you press and keep your finger there. So I have pressed shift and then pressed holding on to it and then K. And then I get capital letter. So now I've let go of the shift key and then whichever letters now that I get, it's small letters. And special characters, that's your exclamation marks at hashtag dollar sign. We also access them using the shift key. If you just press on number two, you get number two. But if you say shift at number two, then you'll get number two. <coughs> Sorry, at. So I'm going to press shift and hold on it. I don't let go. Shift, hold, and then press number two, and then I get it. And if I'm not holding on to the shift key, if I press that number two, then I will get a two. If I press on shift 
N2, then it becomes N8. Are we clear on this? Okay. So just remember, if you key in your password incorrect more than, a lot of times it's going to get you kicked out of the university's system.